everybody, welcome back to Thieges Notebook Review. I'm your host, Joel Michael. Oh, sorry, that was right on the mic. I'm your host, Joel Michael. What we're doing today is we are just going to play some games with the Asus ROG Strix G15. I don't know what order those are supposed to go in. I guess it can go in order, any order you want, but we're going to play games in 4K with the Asus ROG Strix. And this is the notebook that I just reviewed. It has the Ryzen 9 CPU in it and the RX 6800M. And I figured that we can kill two birds with one stone with this video. We're gonna figure out if it can game in 4K. And we're gonna figure out if it can output in USB-C to HDMI. And we are all about that here at uh, Thieges Notebook Review that is killing birds. Um, so first thing off the bat, uh, we already took care of. This is outputting to the TV right now in 4K through uh, USB-C. And let's go ahead and dive into our display settings here. We are in 4K. Now when you're going out from USB-C to HDMI, it automatically defaults to 30 Hertz, which you don't want. So you have to go in here, your advanced display settings here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's refresh rate. So it's automatically set to 30 or 29.97 Hertz. Just go ahead and bump that up to 60. You gotta go through HDMI to do 120 Hertz and you have to have the right cable for it and you have to have uh, the right TV for it. Um, and the Sony t this Sony Bravia X85J is not the right TV for 120 hertz in 4K. You can do 120 hertz in 1080p just fine, but in 4K it'll half uh, your vertical resolution, so it's not exactly 4K, and I've heard it looks nasty, so don't do it. Hey, let's play some games here in 4K. We're gonna start off with Witcher 3, because it's the greatest game ever made, so why would you not start with the greatest game ever made. Now this is the maximum detail settings possible. We're, we're ronder, rondering around, we're wandering around. There's a topless chick there. Let's not, let's not show the topless lady. I want to keep this family friendly. F yeah. And yeah, we just have a bunch of people around here. So it's not the most intensive environment in Witcher 3, but it is an environment in Witcher 3. And it's, uh, it's pretty intense, I think. So here we have no people, nothing's going on, and we're not even getting 60 FPS. And then we actually turn the camera to the party, and our frame rates just kind of dip down a little bit. Not too terribly bad, but uh, yeah, could be better. Let's see if we can get 60 FPS by just lowering a few things, huh? So we're gonna go into our graphics menu here. We're just going to turn this up to high. And of course, Nvidia Hairworks is still going to be off. And we're going to turn the post processing up to just high, which is going to turn the ambient occlusion to screen space ambient occlusion, not HBAO+. I don't know what HBAO+ stands for, but it's SSAO. So we're going to do that and resume and boom. 60 FPS in 4K. We're gonna make sure we don't show you the topless chick. Uh, I gotta be really careful to not <laughs> pan the camera around her. Like, uh, is the, uh, see there's a scene of a lot of people in it and nobody's topless and we're getting 60 FPS. Yeah, this is definitely where I would play Witcher 3 in 4K. And of course the laptop is just, it's not even going crazy. So there is Witcher 3 in 4K. It definitely can do it, and I definitely will be playing this game in 4K. <laughs> on this laptop. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't really think you're missing out on that much, but, and, and if you're getting 4K, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Next up, we are going to run around in Valheim for a little bit. No, don't, why is X the rest button? Come on by default. Uh, I, I could probably change it in the settings menu. I probably could have by now, but I don't normally play this game anymore. I played it for a long time. I don't really play it anymore, so sorry. But I do have a pretty nice fancy house. Anyway, 
We're playing in 4K. It automatically set itself to 4K. I didn't do anything to it, so that's pretty cool. It's in the middle of the day, and we're not even getting 60 FPS wandering around outside. Let's go into my his house and see how low it is. Uh, let's open my wood door. And we're getting... Can we make it go sub 40? Oh, yeah. Can we make it go sub 30? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw a couple glimpses of uh, less than 30 FPS, and there you go. Lots of fires in my unorganized house. No comments in the comments about uh, how messy my house is. I don't want to hear it. Now that we know what the frame rate is going to look like for the most part, let's see if we can make it go a little bit more smoothly. Hmm? We're gonna bump all of these guys down to medium and see if we can get, let's just do that. Like it's definitely, I don't know, it doesn't, f it feels smoother than 50. I mean, you can definitely tell that it's a little crooked, but it doesn't look like less than 60 FPS. This looks smoother, actually, and, which is cool. Of course, V-Sync is not on, so I can definitely tell there's a lot of screen tearing. So let's turn off SSAO2 and depth of field, because those are pretty big ones, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Uh, frame rate wise, it's much better. It actually looks just as smooth as sub 60 since V-Sync is still off because I haven't restarted yet. But let's go into the house and see what our frame rates look like. This is 4K, remember? This is 4K. It's obviously less detailed than it was before, but it is very smooth. Very smooth indeed. Even at like sub 60 right here. This is great. Uh, it obviously does not look as good as it did before, but you know, it's very playable and it's Valheim and it's 4K. Like, what more could you ask for? Let's move on to the next game. Next up, we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We're in the same spot that I was during the review of this laptop. And I remember this is about, because this is in 4K, highest detail settings possible in ultra, whatever the heck it's called, no ray tracing. And this is about the same frame rate that we were getting when ray tracing was on. This is very admirable performance. It's not fantastic or anything like that. I would definitely want to tone the graphics down a little bit if I was gonna play in 4K. Uh, my preference though with this is I think we're gonna have to tone the graphics down too far to be in 4k and I'd rather play this game in 1080p but for the sake of sakeness let's go ahead and turn the uh, detail settings to just high resume oh yeah this is this is great this is fantastic uh, the frame rate's kind of bouncing around. V-Sync is... It, 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 I can see screen tearing. Oh, that is gorgeous. Perfectly smooth, 60 FPS in... Okay, I, I see a little bit. It's dipping a little bit. And you can see how it dips. You can see when it dips. You can notice. But overall, very smooth. And the, this is still remarkable detail, I think. I mean, yeah, I would definitely love to play the game with this detail level all the time. This is great, this looks fantastic. Uh, I can definitely see that, you know, ray tracing is off, but I still get like, you know, these cool god rays. I mean, and those are more subtle god rays than you would get with ray tracing. And you know what, stylistically, I kind of prefer that, you know? I mean, ray tracing these days is all about style preference. Like, is that what you want your games to look like? Or do you want your games to look like this, which is just different? And it's all in your mind about like, oh, okay, well, so well, I could do ray tracing and ray tracing is supposed to look better. Oh, yeah, take those flowers, Laura. Get that 10 XP, you go, girl. But anyway, ah, it's enough of Tomb Raider, I think. Let's move on to the next game. Next up, we're playing Doom Eternal in 4K. Uh, ultra Nightmare settings, ray tracing though, 
is ticked off. It is, <laughs> excuse me, it is, well, it's not ticked off at us. It's, it's pretty mad though because ray tracing is off. So it's all like, what happened to my ray tracing, man? But, uh, oh, that looks great in 4K. I'll tell you what, 60 FPS all the time playing with the controller because I, oh, because I don't have the, how do I change weapons in this game again? Is it this, this, okay, yeah. Heavy cannon, take heavy cannon. That's right. This is not exactly how I would play Doom Eternal all the time because I'm pretty sure if I was actually playing this game and paying attention to what I was doing, I would not be dying so much. But yeah, 4K, gorgeous. I don't think I've seen that counter go below 60 FPS this whole time. 12 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM is a beautiful, beautiful thing, man. I am loving this. I would totally play this game all the time, just like this. Loving it. Hey, let's move on to something else. Oh yeah. And of course we have to boot up a little bit of control. Here we are wandering around the whatever lobby, I guess, right before a fight that happens when I walk through those doors. But before I walk through those doors, we're only getting about 30 FPS. This is the highest details preset minus ray tracing. Ray tracing is the only thing that's off. Naturally, we are in 4K. And if, even if I look at this wall, we're only getting like 37 FPS. So that is definitely not enough for me because I am a video file. So let's go ahead and turn some things down. We're gonna see how far down we have to go in order to get that Beautiful, beautiful 60 FPS number. Hmm, medium isn't much better. So overall, I would say that control and 4K is not compatible because we're not even in a fight yet and we can't even get close to 60. Mm. And we're still juddering here from time to time. Let's get into a fight though. Because this is very smooth. But I'm getting jitters every time I have to load in a new resource. Just so you know. What the hell? Who throws a cupcake? Honestly, you die. Look at that. Shot him in the face. Don't run away from me. Okay, you can run if you want to. Because I know you probably want to like live or something. We're still dropping down below 60 FPS, but I'll tell you what, while I was shooting that dude in the face, totally wasn't noticing. Yeah, it slows down a little bit, but it's just like a, it's, it's a natural kind of slowdown. It's, it's not like, you know, the game slows down for no good reason. Like you're just turning a corner and slows. No, explosions are happening and that's why it's slowing down. So I get it, you know, it's a natural kind of slowdown. I still wouldn't want to play the game like this. So I would say that for control, 4K, 4K is definitely not my cup of tea. Hey, let's move on to one more game. Do we really have to play Diablo 3? Well, yeah, because it's my channel. So, and I hit the mic again, I'm sorry. Oh, this is... Oh, this is the, oh, this is great. <laughs> like, that is super smooth. I am digging that lots. Yeah, this is amazing. I love this. 4K Diablo 3, mm. With V-Sync on, mm. Let's turn V-Sync off and just see what the frame rate looks like. Cause I'm curious now, will it do higher than 60 FPS in 4K? What the hell is going on? Life does not make sense anymore. Like really? It's doing 170? This is 4K maximum details. Like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it's going that high. This is, this is really 4K, right? Yeah. 
Holy crap. Oh, reflections aren't on. Oh, that's why. I don't know. Okay, now we have everything on. Everything is set to the max. Let's turn VSync off and see what our frame rates look like. Yeah, the max details, 4K. Like, everything is awesome. Now, the thing that we have to repeat about this TV, though, is that if you're doing 120 hertz and 4K, you're still limiting your resolution to not 4K. It's gonna fake 4K. It looks fine for PS5 and Xbox, but for PC, eh, it's a different, little bit of a different story there. This is fantastic. I would play Diablo 3 like this with V-Sync on, but this is pretty cool too, like this. I can definitely notice the screen tearing though, so yeah, I'd turn V-Sync on. This definitely looks like lower than 60 FPS though, for sure. Because of, just because of the screen tearing and stuff. So let's turn V-Sync back on. Oh, that is so much better. Still not as good as like 120 Hertz, but yeah, still looks amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, this has been Gaming with 4K with the Asus ROG Strix G15 here on Theogist Notebook Review. If you want to see the review of this laptop, go ahead and click up on the top right hand corner uh, to see that review, to see what I said about this laptop overall. High praise all around, even though it's missing out on a few points. Uh, just see what those points are by watching the review. I'm not gonna spoil you here. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching and you guys, have a good night.